I'm on the trail. I'm telling you, bro. Nigga, that's why I don't do that hiking. You know, I'm going to go, but it, I don't do that hiking I need, shit, I need, bro. I need max. I need max like five. Four, four, yeah, four or five. Five, five motherfuckers, bro. And it got to be three niggas. <laughs> <laughs> three. Yo, it got to be. Come on, son. It got to be. It got to be three niggas. Like, it got to Like, I got to have three niggas. The FBI is hunting down over 500 serial killer truck drivers in the USA. What'd you just say? <clears throat> the FBI is hunting down over 500 serial killer truck drivers in the USA. <clears throat> There's still people like that? Bro. Like truck driving serial killers? Yes, bro. Like, they're it's bad. Out, they're still outside like that? I think it got to a point where it's like, they killed so many people that they have to tell, like, they have to alert, like, the USA, bro. Really? Yeah, like, they said they killed over 1,000 people. Like on the like on the highways and stuff. Dang, this dog really just. Nah, that nigga. Nah, he not playing around no more. <laughs> <laughs> they can watch over here. This nigga. Like, <laughs> I know y'all hear me. You like, be annoying, bro. But <laughs> but um, I didn't know. Yo, the only truck driver serial killer that I re- that I like I've heard about mm-hmm. was like a nineteen. What 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 was he called? I forgot, bro. Was it a black guy? Nah. He was, he was, it was a, a white dude, dude with the with glasses. The, with glasses. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the only one that I really know about. Mm-hmm. They said I they caught like 25 already. Are you serious? Supposed, they caught 25, but there's 500. Imagine, bro. You know how many trucks we see a day? Yeah, it could be one of it them. It could be one of them, bro. And it's like they dr- there's like a specific highway that they like to, that they found the most bodies. It's called like I-40. And it goes from like North Carolina all the way to California. Wow. So it's like, and it goes through cities like Memphis, Houston. Uh, Albuquerque and like I think Las Vegas like goes through those type of cities and you know it's crazy like honestly like it's very hard to find the niggas bro because they're really on the move every time every single day and I feel like a lot of serial killers when they don't want to get caught they could become truck drivers because right. it's like you can you could pick up a girl do whatever you want yep. kill her and yep. put her in a whole nother state whole another and state, now the bro. cops be like how the heck does this girl end up here yeah. and she's from freaking like Alabama, we're right. in Nevada right now. Right, right, right. And the nigga, the nigga, the nigga's, uh, and he, he could either like find somewhere to like sleep or he could sleep in there. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's, and it's like, you really know, crazy. you know, the trucks are like pretty big in the back. Like, you know, like, truck, yeah, like, I know. They, they be having beds and They shit. have beds and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I heard like what truck drivers, what like those serial killer truck drivers they would do, they would make those like things into like little torture chambers. So they'll, oh, like, my God. they'll like tie what? them up the whole time. The like do crazy things to like the girls. They it's mostly like a lot of like like you know the sex workers and right, stuff right, right, right. because they pick them up on like the truck stops and like the rest stops and stuff. Right. Because like they be driving late at night, so they will never notice. Right. You pick up somebody, especially in like North Carolina, like me and Jay and um, you know the guys. We took a lot of road trips to like North Carolina and down south, mm. and like when you go to a stop, bro, it'd be really in the middle of nowhere, mm. and there'd be nobody. Like in like with us, like we have people pump our gas. They don't mm. got people like that. There might just be one person working inside. There's nobody outside. So so do you think there's still people hitchhiking? Yeah, I think so. There's still people hitchhiking. A lot in the West Coast it? though. A lot in the West Coast. Yeah, there's still people hitchhiking around mm-hmm. this time. Yeah, I think it's a lot. I feel like with us, it's not common around like New York because we don't trust people. Regardless, yeah, right. Like, but the people on the West Coast, they're really nice and yeah. like lax days ago, so they don't really care. Right. They don't really think about stuff yeah. like this. They be like, ah, oh, it's whatever. They and it's like, and it's like the norm over there. Yeah, like, it's people the norm, will hitchhike, bro. like you know exactly. I mean? And that, it's like that. That's what. That's what. That's what a lot of you feel me. That's what a lot of I remember the truck driver and shit like that I heard about nigga with the glasses like. Mm-hmm. He would just pick up hitchhikers. Like, mm-hmm. it was, like, you know, it was the norm back in the especially back in the day. Like, yeah. people was hitchhiking all the time. That was a normal, that was really a normal thing. It was just, really just a normal that's thing. That's crazy. Like, it ran in people's cars. Like, just go, like, that's so what I'm it saying. was, like, so easy for them niggas. Like, exactly. He probably looked at them, wow, this is easy. Yeah, this is so easy. Like, I heard, so. I think that one guy you're talking about, I think he got caught because he picked up this girl. So, there was, like, a girl in, like, Houston or whatever. I think mm-hmm. she, um... Ran, was running away from her parents because they was like neglecting or whatever, yeah. and they ran away with her with her boyfriend. Right, right. So yeah, yeah. He yeah, picked the, the boyfriend up, yep, yep. and the girl. And the girlfriend, yep. and he killed the boyfriend first, mm-hmm. and then he just he kept the girl. He kept the girl and was driving all over the place, torturing her for like days, bro. Yeah, yeah. And then just killed them, put her in a ditch. Yeah. And then I found another one. They called dude like interstate like killer, whatever. It was a black guy, bro. He killed over fifty people. 50 wow. girls, bro. He would do, do the same thing. He'll find them in little truck stops. He'll talk to them. He'll kidnap them and just like take their bodies. He'll kill them 
and then he'll wrap their bodies in like plastic and tape and just throw them off the off the side of the roads or whatever wow. and just keep driving, bro. Wow. I'm like, bro. Yeah, hey, yo, it's just it's great. It's scary. Y'all gotta bro. be y'all gotta be safe out there, and it's crazy because like five hundred, five hundred. Mi- that's a minimum. That's that's a guesstimate. Right. That that's like like there could be more. There could be way more. Way more. And there could be m- way more people that died that we don't even know about. Right. So like I don't even know. Like y'all gotta. That's why people. That's a lot of y'all people that's going like you know on ro- cross country trips and like road trips. Y'all bring y'all families and stuff. Watch your kids, bro. Because you gotta yeah, make watch sh- your kids, yeah, yeah, like especially like you know, let your kids go to the bathroom. Right. You gotta go with them to the bathroom, bro. Because right. there's a lot of weirdos in this world, bro. Especially you know, truck drivers, they be looking weird. Oh, yeah, they be, yeah, they look a little creepy. I'm not trying to be rude to y'all, no, truck, rude, truck, truck drivers, but yeah, but y'all, some yeah. of y'all be looking. One of our friends is actually good? a truck driver, I don't know what he be doing. It's like, nah, yeah, yo, chill, yeah, but, but like, it's just, it's just crazy how like they can really get away with it. There might be somebody that's catching like a hundred, hundreds of bodies, and he's just out here, just you know, uh. Got one, drop them off over here, Word. and I'm gonna drive a thousand miles this way. They'll never find me. Word, bro. It's that crazy shit, work, that shit bro. Crazy it's... out there, man. So like, how how do you think they could find them though? Who the truck drivers? Yeah. I feel like a lot of surveillance. Like uh, surveillance, they'll probably see yeah. them get uh kidnapped on like the surveillance cameras of like the gas stations, and they'll probably you know see the license. But plate. like, you don't think you don't think uh, like I feel like this... they, aren't they aren't they. Aren't those things? I mean, I feel like they're they're usually happening at night nighttime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so I think some of, but like, there's if there's gonna be like five hundred, there's gonna be some that aren't that, that smart. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So like, like you know how Jeffrey Dahmer was like doing all this stuff in the nineties right, or whatever. Right. There's gonna be somebody coming out in like the two thousands, twenty tens that did this stuff, and mm-hmm. we're gonna be like, dang, that's crazy. Like this mm-hmm. guy could have caught me, whatever, mm-hmm. and I wouldn't even know about it. They're gonna catch somebody that's. Caught over like maybe two hundred plus bodies that we don't even know about, but he's just driving normally. Right. Like, that's why I say I think you pass by maybe a good amount. I think like a good amount of killers. Yeah, a good amount of killers in your lifetime. I think it's like eight to ten or something like that. Yeah. So you never know, people. Like I be thinking about it a lot when I see the little white vans, bro. Yo, me too, bro. I think about it all the every time. Every time, every time when I'm driving behind one, or every time when I one just drives by, I'm like, yo. This one, could, of y'all, one of y'all niggas, one of y'all, y'all niggas, y'all not slick. If I see a little, if I see something off, I'm calling the cops. I'm taking Word a picture of your license plate, especially, bro. especially if it's like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Mm. That's crazy. I'm like, what, dang. They just, they just driving by? They just like, um, like if I leave Jay's crib around like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. and I'm like driving home and I see like a white van and it looks a little dirty, Word. look a little sketchy. I'm like, like, what are y'all doing? Why are you out here? Right. Why, like, <laughs> you're not doing no job right now. Right. <laughs> like, if, like, if there's landscapers, like, you know, that's a lot of, like, the landscapers mm-hmm. and stuff do that. Who are you, who's grass you cutting at 3 a.m.? Where, mm-hmm. you, where you going, brother? Niggas got to really be, be, be keen into that. Niggas got got to be, like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Really got to be really mindful for, for that. Like, exactly. it's 3 a.m. Like, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you really, really doing, doing? Like, you feel me? Traffic. Unless, unless that's, like. Your your that main could be vehicle. Your main vehicle. Yeah, that's a you different thing. Me? That then but why I, is your man? Damn it! Like, you can't why have is your that vehicle <laughs> main tr- a white truck? God damn it! Exactly. Like, out of all out of all out cars, of every bro. car, bro. At least like get like something else. Get a Toyota. Yeah, like come on, come bro. On, bro. Nah, like man. why is it a white van? It's like, it's so bad. You're just bro. I'm I'm sorry to be like stereotypical, but shit. Yes. You can, it's hard not to be. It's so it's, hard, it's, bro. It's too. It's too like. It's icon. It's like I'm not gonna say iconic, but it's like so like out there it's out there yeah. like it's been it's been like that since the, the, start. Ni- the 90s then since every 80s bro exactly. whatever bro so i don't know bro. it makes it a lot worse so people like especially the young kids that be watching this on podcast be mindful of your surroundings because there's a lot you can get picked up any moment bro right i'll be thinking about it a lot bro i'll be looking like at our followers i'm like damn we got a lot of followers like imagine like god forbid one of these guys like maybe like something bad happened to them and we never know right kind of sucks man that would suck dang bro but I, I be, yo that's why i Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That's why I be like so on alert all the time. You know, I watch so many like yeah, so many like true crime shit mm-hmm. or like Jay's the same way. Just, yeah, I watch I watch that every time. So like, I be so on alert every single time, bro. Yeah, I can't like. I know it's not a like a good way to live. Like being on so alert, but like it's hard not to be. It's There's hard not crazy to be. fucking people out there, bro. Especially now that with and technology, pe- we can see like who's crazy. Yeah, and it's like more open now. Yeah, like Jay's the same way. Like every time me and Jay walk around, like when we was in Atlantic City, she always turns around and looks behind her every like two minutes. Yeah, like when I'm yeah exactly like when I'm walking, like we're too like when I'm walking, like 
I'm I'm looking behind me, bro. Yeah, that's I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I'm looking behind me because it's like you never and know. I just it, like every time when I'm with my girl, like she's so like carefree. Yeah. Like how do you live like that? I feel like as guys be, we gotta we yo you gotta be ten toes, bro. We gotta be tech. You bro. gotta be ten toes, and she be like, yeah, nothing's gonna. You don't nah, know that. You, know, you don't know that. Nah, like, you don't know. That's why I don't do the hiking shit. Oh really? Word, bro. Like my girl goes hiking, bro. I'll be like, all right. You don't go hiking with her? Fuck no. Wait, she goes hiking with like who? Her family and stuff or her friends? Like with her friend or something. Like, <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. No, yeah, you got, like you, you laughing because that shit is crazy. It's crazy, bro. That's like, where they be who, at. Like that's where they be at. That's where they be at. Yo, bro. There, there was a there was a actually uh where where my there was a route that my girl went to, mm-hmm. and they found out that somebody got killed over there. Really? Yes. Where she be hiking at? In New Jersey? Know. Yeah. So, as long know. as it's New Jersey. Yeah, I think so. It'd be, it'd be, it's some, if it's she'd some be dirty. like, let's go to like PA, hike, don't go over there. Nah. That's where the people go missing. Like, they wrote books about how many people go missing, like in the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah. There's some. There's oh, no, the Appalachian is crazy. There's something in there that's taking people. I don't know what the hell it is. It, I know what it is. It's people that be living over there. Yeah. And they, and they got houses over there. Yeah. And they be, they got, it's not even a house probably. They probably like a fucking shack or some shit. <laughs> and them niggas just, know the route more than anybody you they know, live over there yo you know what bro, i heard i know what it is bro i heard the bro it's literally that because i know i heard there was like a guy there was like a freaking serial killer or a killer that that freaking escaped like prison in florida mm-hmm. and like he made it all the way up to like like i think like pennsylvania or west west virginia or whatever and he like lives in the mountains i'm telling you bro and he's like like he's like hidden in the mountains when people say like they see a shack but like he lives in that shack, and they said like he killed a couple people like I'm on the trail. I'm telling you, bro, nigga, that, that's why I don't do that hiking. You know, I'm gonna go, but it, I don't do that hiking. I need, shit, I need, bro. I need max. I need max like five, four, four, yeah, four, five, 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 five motherfuckers, bro. And it gotta be three <laughs> niggas. <laughs> <laughs>